Welcome to today's webinar presented by Supercoder.com. Supercoder.com is an online coding solution offering Part A and B coding reference tools, resources, and not more than 30 specialty coding and compliance newsletters from the Coding Institute in one site. I hope you enjoy this short session. I want to talk about the new 2012 codes uh, that CPT introduced. It's the two-tier molecular pathology codes. And just for sort of a, a shorthand for the purposes of this conference, I, I've made up this MDX um, as an abbreviation. I want to point out that molecular diagnostics and molecular pathology are really interchangeable terms. The old stacking codes uh, in CPT, the way we've been reporting molecular testing for years, um, is called molecular diagnostics. Uh, the uh, AMA chose to name this new section molecular pathology, but it's really interchangeable. But for the rest of this uh, talk, I'm going to be using the MDX just as an abbreviation for molecular pathology or molecular diagnostics. So in addition to looking at those new two-tier two CPT codes, we're also going to look at CMS guidance for when and how to use those new codes, as well as what to do with the old stacking codes and array codes, which are still uh, present in CPT. I also want to talk a little bit about payment expectations. The, the, there's a lot of questions out there as to how pricing is going to go for these new codes, um, what fee schedule Medicare is going to put it on, how input will be uh, forthcoming from from industry stakeholders, and that's all something I want to touch on a little bit of where we are with those issues. Um, also, I want to talk about a Medicare payer who's sort of gone rogue on this, despite the CMS instruction to continue using the stacking codes. Uh, Palmetto is a, a uh, NAC that has come out with their own system. So I want to go through what that is because it impacts a lot of people, whether you're in their specific uh, physical location or not. Also want to talk about genetic modifiers because prior to these new uh, two-tier coding system, that was supposed to be a way that, <clears throat> that labs could identify what variant or <clears throat> that they were testing for when they were using the stacking codes. And that was crucial for payment for some, uh, for some payers. So I want to talk about those and how they fit into the new paradigm. And then finally, I want to talk about coverage issues, uh, payable diagnoses, what kinds of coverage determinations are out there, and that sort of thing. <clears throat> so let's move on and talk about, we're going to start with the CPT 2012 codes, the two-tier molecular diagnostics codes. So um, the, the CPT book has a big introduction to these new codes, uh, but I just want to call out a couple of different things for your attention here. So what is molecular pathology or molecular diagnostics? Well, it's medical lab procedures that analyze nucleic acid to detect gene variants for a host of conditions. Um, really, the, the Tier 1 and Tier 2 codes <clears throat> are looking at germline or constitutional disorders, these are like inherited disorders, or somatic conditions, which it means essentially acquired uh, genetic variation that can cause conditions such as um, cancer. <clears throat> and then also uh, molecular variation in histocompatibility antigens, and this is important in uh, testing prior to transfusion, tissue transplant, and that sort of thing. Um, <clears throat> There are a lot of other molecular testing codes in CPT that are not these molecular pathology. Um, so we're going to talk about that a little bit more later. So this, this doesn't, using these new codes doesn't sort of wipe out all other types of molecular <laughs> testing, for instance, for, um, for antigen assessment and that sort of thing. So we'll talk about some of those later just to kind of put the whole uh, molecular test methodologies into context. Um, this next slide, if you guys want to go through the slides with me, um, is uh, really just a little bit of house cleaning. Uh, the AMA published a errata, and there were a couple of the new molecular pathology codes 
that showed up on this list. It really was the same. SuperCoder is the fastest growing online reference tool with more than 25,000 subscribers. Call 866-228-9252 to get a free product demo or sign up at supercoder.com for a seven-day free trial.